What's up, Roughnecks? This is Pwn Source Rex here, and this is the Cement Mixer. So, we are going to discuss what it takes to make a cement mixer, the skills, the materials, and where you can possibly find one on the first day. So, let's take a look right over here. Actually, no, we always do this backwards. We're going right into the intelligence section. We're going to go down to advanced engineering, and we're going to look at Tinkerer. Using the Tinkerer, which is level 2, advanced engineering, you can make cement mixers, which takes two points here and, f and level four here. So three points and two points. And that's five points, and you can get that pretty, pretty quick in the game. So anyway, let's back out of that. You could also find a schematic to make it, which once you have the schematic or the intelligence, you can make it using springs, mechanical parts, forged iron, engines, and the workbench. You need the workbench because you got to combine it and make the cement mixer. So anyway, springs you can find on any vehicle, uh, beds, and uh, other random places. Mechanical parts you can find on all over the place. Uh, vehicles is a good one. Forged iron you can make right in the forge with six soil, 12 iron, and it comes out. The engines you just scrap a lot of cars and eventually you'll find them uh, that and batteries you know those come right off cars and then of course then you have your cement mixer now now that you have a cement mixer why do you care alright so let's look at what you can make with a cement mixer a cement mixer can make concrete mix uh, which is used to upgrade everything into the concrete stages which is amazing. And if you want to skip the concrete stages, look at this right here, this wet concrete block. Wow, that is amazing. I didn't even know about this until I made this video. That is an amazing thing right there because you set this down, you wait for it to dry, then you push once and boom, it's up to a reinforced concrete block and then all you need is steel and you bump it up to the steel block, which we'll go take a look over here and I'll show you and it's gonna be a little sneak peek for Friday's video. But we will go look at it. So anyway, right over here. So this is, you know, you make the wet cement block, then you make, then you upgrade it using the cement, and then you use the steel, and there it is, boom, 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 to the top. Whereas when you're down here in the wood section, it takes seven times to get to the top, where with the wet it only takes three. So anyway, I thought that was pretty amazing myself, and that's how that goes so the concrete mix and the wet concrete saw uh, are probably the two things you're gonna use the most because uh, you can just come right over here and get sand you don't need this to make sand although it's easy to make sand in it later in the game you'll just toss a bunch of rock in there but anyway let's take a look at the map and I'll show you where you can find one possibly find one um, right at a trail uh-oh no, you're not. Not today, you're not. You're not going to boop me out of the place. Okay, so anyway. Like, right here is a destroyed one. So, probably shouldn't have gone there first. There we go. And let's go down here. So I know there's a working one here. Right over here is a working one right at a trader's. So if you get the right trader after your tutorial and it tells you where your trader is and you get to that trader, you may get lucky. Look, this one actually has all of them working, which is absolutely amazing. Like, that's pretty decent to have them all working. That's actually a pretty happy time. Harry doll, in my opinion. So, okay. That being said, guys, that is the cement mixer. That's why you need it um, to upgrade those end blocks to get ready for Horde Night. And, uh, you know, that's how it goes, you know. All right. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, you know, if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I can use every single one of you guys, and I appreciate having you around. And... You know, if one of you feels kind of diehard, we've got the Patreon page up and the link is down below. All the proceeds will go to the channel and help with uh, either equipment or, you know, keeping the lights on. So, you know, give that some thought. And 
give me some comments. Let me know what you think about the channel uh, down below. And if I don't see you in the comments below, I'll see you in the next video.